YouTube channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be starting a wedding DIY series here on my channel. This is going to be the first video of many that are all going to be related to wedding DIYs. There's going to be some Cricut DIYs, some hand lettering DIYs, but all acrylic related. If you are interested in these type of videos, go ahead and like this video and then subscribe if you'd like to see more wedding DIYs here on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making these DIY acrylic place cards, perfect for any wedding or event. These can be used for a bridal shower, baby shower, dinner party, really any party or event these will be perfect for. There are two different ways that you can make these acrylic place cards. The first option would be using your Cricut and vinyl to put the lettering onto the place cards. The second option is using a Sharpie oil-based pen to freehand the lettering. The first thing that you'll need are some acrylic place cards. These I got off of Amazon. These are just some hexagon shaped ones and then these are some rectangle ones. I will go ahead and link these down below for you guys. Next you will need the paint colors of your choice. Here I just have gold and a light blue. You will also need some weeding tools, a soft scraper, some foam brushes, something to put your paint in, some polycrylic, this will be used to seal the back of the place cards, some vinyl, I'm just using matte white, a cutting mat for your Cricut, and if you're doing the free-handed option, you're gonna want to use a Sharpie oil-based pen. The first thing we're gonna do is go into our Cricut software and open up a new project. Next, we're gonna go over to the Shapes button and click on the hexagon and then we're going to make this a little over three inches wide so we'll do 3.1 this is going to act as our placeholder for our place card i like to do a fully white background just so it gives a good look at what we're looking at here so what we're going to do next is go ahead and go into our text and we're going to type the name that we want to be on the place card and then we're going to go over to the fonts that we're using and I am choosing one called Amora Script. You can find this on the Creative Fabrica website. I am going to have everything linked down below for you guys, including the fonts that we use in today's video. Next, we're going to weld the letters together. And then we're going to size it down just a little bit so it will fit perfectly on our place card. Okay, so that looks good just like that. I like the size and the placement on that one. So now we're gonna go ahead and choose our next name. So for the next one, I'll just do my name. We're gonna weld that together and then do the sizing once again. We just want it to be just big enough that it will fit perfectly on there, but not too big that it's just too much for the place card. And then let's go ahead and do one more that we can do a different font for a male guest. So we'll have this one go ahead and say groom. The font I chose for this one is called loves. And then we're going to put the letters a little bit closer together here. Get the sizing right. So now we're going to go ahead and attach these. And then we'll delete this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and send this over to the Cricut so it can cut out the names for us. I'm gonna choose the premium vinyl settings since I am using the Oracle 651 vinyl. I'm gonna use pressure as more because my blade is a little bit dull right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the vinyl onto the cutting mat here. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove our vinyl from the cutting mat. I like to flip my mat over and just kind of peel the vinyl away this way. That way it doesn't get all rolled up. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cut our names out. We're just gonna cut right around the words here. Just so make sure you don't cut on the letters. And now we're gonna go ahead and weed this vinyl. Just wanna go as slow as you can, making sure that you're not picking up any eyes. A lot of times the eye will get stuck. And if you do, you can always place it back down, but you just wanna be very careful, especially with fonts like this that are super thin. Now I'm just gonna weed out the inside pieces and then we'll move on to the next step. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our hexagon place cards and peel off the protective layer that's on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started painting. Okay. 
I'm going to be using this Deco Art Gold Paint for my hexagon place cards. I do like this paint because it is a lot thicker than most metallic paints. You only need a coat or two and it's perfect. Now we're going to open up our gold paint and give it a little bit of a stir. I'm going to paint mine straight across here. Doesn't have to be perfect. I notice that whenever I do like a little bit faster, just kind of like wispy strokes. It always looks a little bit better that way. Just try to be as light handed as you can. So there is just one coat. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of paint on these gold place cards. If you do like the way it looks like this where it is a little bit more see-through, you can totally keep it like that. This is what it looks like with the second coat on it. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but I do like the way it looks with these second coats, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on all of them. Now that our place cards are dry, we're going to go ahead and flip them over and add the wording to the other side. We're just going to grab our transfer tape. We're going to use that to move the lettering from the backing paper over to the place cards. And we'll use our soft scraper to do that as well. We'll go ahead and peel that off. So we just place the transfer tape there, use the squeegee to really adhere it to the transfer tape, and then peel that transfer tape off along with the vinyl, and then use the squeegee to really adhere it there. And we'll peel back the transfer tape. And there we have it. These are the final products. I love the way these turned out. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can do the freehand option. If you don't have great handwriting, you can actually just print out the font that you want and just trace over it. That way you can get a very nice look to your place cards, even if your handwriting isn't the best. So what we're gonna do in the Cricut Design Space is go in and get a place card that's the same size as the rectangle place card that we have here. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and hit this unlock button, and then we're gonna make the width 3.5 inches, and then we're gonna make this white. This is going to represent our rectangle place card. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and use the same fonts that we used for the other. Amora script and we're just gonna size it right here we're going to weld that together and then we're going to go ahead and duplicate the rectangle so we can make another one here and we're gonna have this one say groom and we're gonna choose that same font called loves and put the letters closer together and then size it down, just like that. And so next we're gonna go ahead and flatten these. This is because we're going to be using the print thin cut option on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten both of these. Now I'm just going to go ahead and send my project over to my printer so that it can print these two words out for me in the perfect size. You can also just use Microsoft Word for this. You just wanna make sure that the size of the word is perfect for the place card that you're using. So I'm just using the Cricut software because I know I can get the sizing perfect. But like I said, if you don't have a Cricut, you can just use Microsoft Word. Just go ahead and size it down and make sure whenever you print it out that the name stays the size that you want it to be. I'm gonna leave one of these clear so that we can see what that option looks like too. First, I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this protective layer. And then I'm going to line up my acrylic to where the word that you want to trace is right in the middle. Next I'm going to take my Sharpie oil based pen in the extra fine point and I'm going to go ahead and trace the letters now.
Okay, so now that we have our letters traced here, you can see here what it looks like. It's in no way perfect, but if you don't have a Cricut, this is a really good option for you. Now we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. We are leaving this one clear, so this one is completed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trace this one here that says bride. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line this up perfectly to where the word bride is right in the middle. Okay, and here is this one. Now, if you're gonna paint the back of this, you're gonna wanna do the tracing first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the back of this blue. I did wanna mention to you guys that if you do mess up whenever you're doing the Sharpie lettering, you can actually go ahead and wipe it away with some rubbing alcohol. Just take some rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab or even like a very soft paper towel and you can just wipe away the place where you messed up or just erase what you did all together. Just be really careful not to scratch the acrylic up too much if you are scrubbing it. Try to be pretty gentle with it. Here is the finished product on this one with the hand lettering and the back painted light blue. Of course, if you do have really good handwriting, this could look so much better if you are a calligrapher or if you have really great handwriting. But like I said, doing the tracing route really does help. It's not gonna be as perfect as vinyl, but it definitely will look good and it will get the job done if this is the only option that you have. It still can look really good for your wedding or event. The final step is to paint the polyacrylic clear coat onto the back. For this, you only want to paint the clear coat onto the area that you painted previously. You don't want to paint onto the clear acrylic. This is going to act as a protective layer on the back of the place cards so that the paint doesn't get scratched. And this is our finished product. These are so easy to make and very budget friendly if you are doing some DIYs for your wedding. These could also double as a coaster or a party favor for your guests. These are definitely not exclusive to weddings and can be used for any event. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more DIY wedding projects, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.